Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video. Listen, we, we get some pretty rare stuff here uh, quite often. And in the case of what we're gonna go over today, we are gonna talk about super rare. And you say, well, Tony, how could you possibly know these things? And I say, you're absolutely right. I know nothing. However, I'm using the interwebs, Dr. Google. Anyway, uh, it looks to me, uh, it appears out there that they built 15 of these six-speed convertibles. And in this color combination like this, maybe the only one of its kind, which is pretty cool when you think about it. Imagine going to a car show where people have not seen this. The six-speed manual is becoming super popular. Matter of fact, the cars that are going up in value are the manual transmission cars because so many cars today are no longer featured with that. We talk about the Corvette and some other cars, McLaren and things like that. No, no Astons with six-speed or seven-speed manuals although they are talking about coming back out with one. But at the present moment, they did not have one. Ah. So as we look at this car here, first off, this is uh, one of those designs that continues to look spectacular. It was spectacular when it came out. It was their best-selling car. And in their sense of their best-selling car, I'd like you to hear some numbers for a second. Aston will sell somewhere around cars, somewhere around 1,800 cars a year. They're building 1,800 Honda Accords a day. I would like you to have that number for just a second to think about these hand-built cars and why they're so rare and why they're so cool. This is the way to buy one. We're going to spend some time looking at some of the good stuff, see why it's so cool. We're going to see people's names who helped uh, craft this piece of machinery and how rare it is uh, as well. All right, let's get started. All right, so a lot of times people will say, wow, man, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. And I like to point out some stuff that makes some cars different than other. Like this is a pioneer of the fender vent, right? With this piece here that makes the car look like it's already moving, right? These are design things that they're thinking about when they make these. In the case of this car here, these wheels and tire setup is a, I don't want to say perfect fit because nothing in the world is perfect, but this is as perfect as it can get. Right, look at how well it fills this and look how big it makes this right here, all right? Then you also have this styling feature. Look how much fender is here. Most fenders are only half this size, right? Another great piece, these hood vents, the Aston Martin logo, which is a fabulous, fabulous logo. And lastly, the paint itself. The paint itself uh, is onyx black metallic. And until you get into the sunlight and see it, it's got metallic in it and it will change colors as the sun hits it. It is spectacular to look at. It was an extra cost option during the time. Even on an Aston, they have extra cost stuff, right? Sheesh, it never seems to end, but this is why these are such great cars and why so many people buy them. Anyway, lastly, I just wanted to, uh, us to look at the quality of the paint, but just a quick paint lesson for you, if you don't mind. Don't look at the paint. You say, Tom, what's that mean? What's that mean, don't look at the paint? What I mean by that is this, look at what's in the paint. Look at the ceiling, look at the lights, look at these letters. That's how you determine good paint. When you can see things nice and crisp, everything looks good, right? Uh, it's great paint. When it's a little bit fuzzy and not so clear, right? And kind of hazy, then you know you have suspect paint and that's why we do the video, all right? So come on up here and check that out. Look how crystal clear that is and beautiful. Every letter, every piece of that description. Uh, imagine going to a car show at night in this car and pulling up there. It is fabulous. I can't wait for you guys to hear the exhaust. All right, I want to spend a minute here under the hood for a couple reasons. One, this is where the power and sound is generated. However, there's a reason why cars handle better than others. Uh, and this car, believe it or not, is considered a mid-engine sports car. It's a tone. How could that be the mid-engine where you're talking like craziness? You're absolutely right. It is a little crazy. I'll show you in just a second. But more importantly, when I'm buying a car myself, these are the things I'm looking for, and I'm coaching you on that too. For instance, there are decals around here, okay, that you cannot purchase in, right? Under here, that's the original stickers here, stickers here, stickers here. If this car was in an accident, for instance, uh, those uh, places would be replaced, and these decals would be gone. You can't buy them. Here's the tag right here with all the details of the car. Here's the final inspector, Andrew Goff. He's the one who checked the car over and was part of the uh, not only build process, but inspection process as well, which is still there. If this was crashed, you can't buy this anymore, right? Secondly, let's get back to why is this a mid-engine car? Okay, so uh, the center line of the front wheel is right here, okay? The engine and transmission, all of this is behind the front wheel. 
This is why it handles so well. There's not all that extra weight over the front wheels. It's behind the rear wheels, which makes it go so well. Anyway, got aluminum pieces here, here, hood, grill, stuff like that. And not to mention, if you want to go to a car show, it looks really, really nice under here. The factory did an awesome, awesome job. All right, so, so much of a car is spent uh, styling-wise at the front end. I like to spend a minute or so back here because this is, A, because it's fast. Most people, will, so that's the only part they're ever going to see. But most importantly, the, the effort that somebody's put into styling this vehicle like that here. For instance, remember, this is 2024, almost 2025 that we're doing this video. This is 2009, right? Think about how far styling has come. These were cutting-edge styling pieces, wrapping tail lights and headlights into the body panels. That was never done before, right? This spoiler right here is an addition. It doesn't have to stay on here. It's actually a double-sided uh, tape on it. Uh, so if you don't like it, it doesn't have to stay. It's nice looking. It's carbon fiber. It's real carbon, uh, but it does come off if you don't like it. So that's a cool feature. Anyway, uh, the styling here, and then you have this kind of race style look, right? This is a reminiscent of race cars. They typically uh, would have diffusers back here but it also has modern things like backup sensors. Uh, this great sounding exhaust has two modes in it, uh, quiet kind of sneak in the neighborhood mode, and then uh, I'm having fun mode, which is another great mode. Uh, secondly, it actually has a functional trunk and they put some time into that. And you say, well, Tone, what does that mean? But before I get into that, I wanted to share with you some things that I like about a car. When I see this in the trunk of a car, a car cover, okay? Notice I didn't throw it on the floor. Uh, when I see a trunk cover in there, and I also see a windshield, uh, a windshield protector for the dash, right? Sun screen protector, <laughs> Jeez, get it out Fleming. Anyway, uh, but what I wanted to point out is that the trunk here was designed for golf clubs. And you say, with well, Tone, how am I gonna get what I fold them up in here and put them in there? I said, don't you have a fold up set of golf clubs? What are you, a poser? No, what they did was they cut out this corner back here and they, Slip the golf clubs in like that and lay it right in there. And then you got a full uh, way to take your golf clubs with you and go. But what I was pointing out was that these are garaged cars, right? Somebody kept this car in the garage its whole life and they put a car cover on it is basically what I'm getting at. So when I see that, I know that somebody loved and protected this car. And that's why these are such a great buy. When you can get something like this that somebody has loved just as much as you will, it's exactly what you should be getting. I love this part of the video where you're walking up to the car, you get to see your car, right? You get to see what it looks like. You're gonna spend most of your time inside, but we forget how great it is to walk up to something like this. It's really magical. A couple small cool things about this as well, and I wanted to show you real quick, is this has articulating doors. And people say, well, Tom, what's that mean, articulating, right? Does the door fall off and onto the ground? No, it does not work like that. What it does do though, however, uh, is it instead of coming straight out here, it comes up. Look how much it's come up here. It's already here now versus when it was down here. And it's a very subtle way it works. And I like to point that out to people because why is that important? Well, what it does is it opens up all of this space here for getting in the car, right? These are low cars. As we get older, it's not as easy to get in and out and whatever, but it allows us to get in these cars, right? Look how easy it is to get in. All right. I did want to point out real quick, uh, back over here on top of the, uh, the pads is a uh, safety bar roll hoops. So in case the car was to roll over, right, these would pop up or if it starts to tilt, that's got some safety built into it there. Uh, all right, let's get on the interior. So in an Aston, you're getting a full leather interior. What does that mean? Full leather, meaning like the, just the seats are leather or what? No. When you get a full leather interior, the dash is covered in leather, it's stitched here, the console, the seats, the door panels. This is Alcantara, right? Um, all the back parts in here are all stitched and covered in leather, right? This is what you're getting. You're getting an Aston Martin. I want you to think about what we're saying here. These are talking about they're building less than 2,000 of these total production for the world. Production for the world, okay? Not, not US, the world, right? They are rare. And, and they're luxurious and they're fast and they sound good and they're very modern inside. I mean, it's just uh, super, super nice here. I don't know if I want to turn on some stereo music, maybe hear a little something, right? Uh, anyway, and this right here is the key. You got this, you got this close ratio six speed here. 
the rise and fall, the tachometer and the speedometer are really cool too because not only do you have a 220 mile an hour speedometer and an 8,000 RPM tack, but they go opposite of each other so that they're easy to see, right? And uh, a full array of gauges as well. Killer audio system in the car. Like you don't need to upgrade it if you don't want to. Power windows and the keyless and this beautiful crystal key that goes in here that comes with the car. All right, so I'd like to close up the video because we talk about so much stuff in here with just a few bullets for a minute. Remember, this car was $130,000 in uh, 2009. That's well over $200,000 uh, today's dollars, which is pretty impressive uh, that, that, that uh, these cars have kind of kept their value the way they have. This especially, right, has uh, added value to it because it's so rare. It's a six-speed. It's triple black. We didn't even mention the words triple black in there. Throw in Xenon headlights, throw in keyless entry and, and full leather interiors and, and uh, killer hi-fi audio systems in here. Big brakes, giant engine. Remember, the original car came with 4.2 liter engine. This got the 4.7 liter engine, right? And uh, if you've never driven or owned one, man, there's just something about owning an Aston that says, I have arrived. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. I'll tell you all about this cool triple black Vantage V8 six-speed. And if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below. That helps us get the message out. I really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time and maybe share it with your friends. They might like to see it as well. And I'll see you on the test drive. Not many cars are as elegant as having a crystal key and sound bad A like this. This is like wearing a carbon fiber tuxedo. That's only like half the RPMs that it's allowed. Wow. All right, so we decided to go for a drive today. We're shifting some gears. Why do you buy an Aston? Well, this is probably why you buy an Aston because it goes around the corners like it's effortless. Makes a great sound. Great brakes too. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. This is awesome. I'm definitely not pushing it, but leaving that for you. Listen to that sound of the motor, man. You're not getting that out of electric. Wow. Sorry, I'm not doing a lot of talking. I just want to let the car do the talking. So nice. The motor just goes up and down, up and down. Trans is super simple and clicks, clicks into gear. Wow, this is great. And then you got comfort, man. If you just want to just go to dinner, maybe the Capitol Grill's calling, and you just need to go to dinner. How you doing? <laughs> All right, so we do our second little drive. You know, normally I talk during these videos, but in this case of this car here, there's so much that it's doing on its own. I feel like I'm ruining the experience. Listen to this. This is awesome. Oh my God, you're going to love this car. And super solid, like not a rattle to be heard, right? This is why you buy them, man, because it does this to you. Anyway, we'll find a way to get this one in your garage.